Okay, guys, for the lab 4 tensile test lab report, I want you to solve it. It has 40 marks, so it's double the lab report from the previous one. So be careful to uh, solve this one properly with all the information correctly mentioned here. Okay, so it is done by computer. It is not done by hand, and you have to type it on the in, on the information. Type all the information. The introduction section is there. What tell me about what is tensile test? Why we use it? And mention the objectives of what we learn in the lab. The lab materials. I want you to put the picture as well as uh, picture and the name of the items we used. So put the machines, put the instruments, put the material we used with the photo in the material section. This is the same as previous labs. In the lab procedure, I want you to mention step by step explanation of each st stage, and also mention your safety. Uh, safety precautions which we took in this experiment very important procedure carries six marks so don't ignore it don't neglect it it is same as previous labs next is where our major important data comes in here in the heading called test data I want you to mention the specimen details for each lab group you have to do two specimen it can be uh, any two from steel aluminium and brass and I have uploaded the data of only two of them in your blackboard section. So check which two samples for each group is falling in you. Okay. So for those two samples, I want you to put the details. What are the details? It is the measurements that we did and the material type. So you have to mention the length, initial length, final length, initial diameter, final diameter, and the, uh, and the detail of the specimen in the form of table okay this is the initial measurements then you have to give me your test results okay test results what are the test results give me your test results in the form of two graphs one is a plot of material a the other is a plot of material b so the two materials for your section is the test results here i have already shared the excel file for each group for example this is the uh, sample data for B1, B01 session what you will have is you will have an excel file with the machine data look at the bottom which two materials do you have I have here steel and aluminium so B01 will do steel and aluminium okay and it is different for each group so what you have to do is you have to take this machine data of extension and load change it to stress and strain and then plot the graph okay so this graph which you will plot here for both materials you will put the two graphs here now if there's anything wrong in plotting the graph the whole of lab report after this is wrong so be careful your graphs should be totally correct and make sure you don't make any mistakes in making graph okay so insert stress strain curve for each material using excel you have to submit your Excel file also. It's very important. I will not accept any submission without Excel file. And it should file, your Excel file should contain the data, experimental data, and the plots. Make sure the graphs are in appropriate size and the formatting with access label, units, legend points clearly visible. So like a professional graph. For sample, I have attached this. And remember, this is only a sample. Your graph should look better than this and more clear than this and correct values than this. Okay, this is just a sample graph which I have included in the lab report um, in the lab submission on Blackboard. You can use it for your benefit. It gives you steps on how you can create graphs like these and how to find the, the data for it. Okay, so uh, this use this data graph. To help yourself but you have to build your own graphs for the material which I give you okay the sample Excel file is already uploaded in blackboard as well as the machine data is uploaded for on the blackboard as well for each group and I have also uploaded this word file which you have to submit okay once you successfully put the graphs here you can just read the graph and get the values which we want in this experiment okay so after this test results, we have another section called data analysis. In this one, it has 12 marks, guys. 
and all these 12 marks are relying on the graph which you make in the previous section if so if you make the graph wrongly you will lose all of these 12 marks here as well so here what you have to do from the obtained curves or graphs find out the following mechanical properties for the two materials in your section do not forget to show your complete calculations so how do you do it if you have for example aluminum and steel you will just delete the brass and give me the final value of young modulus here and give me a final value of steel here and show me some cal sample calculation here so sample calculation for maybe one material if you want to show for both uh, you can show both here okay the same you will do for yield stress and remember this yield stress is by 0.2% uh, yield method and this method you have to show on your graph by drawing a parallel line to the curve okay and then give me your final answers here the ultimate tensile stress is the highest point on the graph you can calculate directly and put it here fracture stress is also just one point on the graph you can also put it here the modulus of resilience remember is the area under the plastic region sorry area under the elastic region which is the area of triangle and material ductility is the percentage elongation and a percentage area reduction once you can calculate as explained in the powerpoint you can calculate all the these values here from the graph so your graph or your excel file is the main thing you have to work with after that you can just simply answer these two discussion questions try to read them and in these questions uh, you have to discuss your answers based on the samples which you get okay do not give me general answers from uh, the google or from any resources Give me the answers related to your sample, what you observe in your sample. And in this question number two, what you have to do is compare your values of um, yield strength with the values of yield strength for the same material in the literature. So where you will get the yield strength value for aluminum, brass and steel, you can get it from your book or from the materials online uh, database. After that, in the end, you have conclusion. Write a good conclusion and give me references for this lab. If, you do, if anything is not clear for you guys, please let me know and I will be most happy to answer you. This lab report is due in almost two weeks time. Okay, It's not due next week. It is due uh, during your break. So it is. let me show you the, the, the deadline for this lab report. The deadline for this, the, all the files you can find in the assignment section on Blackboard. If you go to your assignment section on the Blackboard, you can find all the files related to this tensile test here. You can see I have the submission file, which is the Word file. This is the PowerPoint or the slides which I were discussing. This is the graph example in Excel. And this is your test data for each section is different. I will upload the YouTube recordings here shortly after this session. And then what is the submission guideline? You have to download the lab file. You have to download the test data Excel file. Solve by typing your report and putting information in MS Word. Put the sign and cover page only and make sure you submit on Blackboard your lab PDF report format and also the Excel file containing data, calculation and graphs. The deadline is Thursday on 18th March, so it's almost two weeks. You have a lot of time to work on this lab report. I don't want the last minute works in this lab. Trust me, the last minute works in this lab will straight away get a really low mark. This is the most important lab report and I want you to give your full effort in this lab report. So make sure you focus time this weekend also another week you have it. It's due on Thursday on 18 March. So you have a lot of time to work on it and it's also you can work on it during your break. And late submissions will be penalized if you're submitting one or two days late or three days late. So make sure if you have any question, please send me an email and I will be happy to answer. If something is not clear, let me know. Otherwise, you are free for this session. Thank you so much.